Hello, my good friends. You're welcome again to the continuation of our video on how to do electrical house wire. And in this video, we will end by looking at how to wire the imperial circuits in the house. But to start with, as I said in the previous video, we are considering wiring a small house that comprises of a porch, a sitting area, and then a room. Okay, so I will start from the last socket here, then it goes like this. Alright, so usually when you are dropping it at the switch box, you must allow a considerable length to, to enable for proper dressing when you are doing your final connection in the consumer unit. Alright, so this will allow uh, the distance before we cut.
All right, so as simple as that, we are done with wiring the power circuit. So now we move on to wiring the lighting circuit. All right, so again, for wiring the lighting circuit, in this video, I'm using two wires. I'm using a wire colored red and then one colored black. And again, I will say that you have to refer to my video on the different wiring color codes to know the correct color of wires to use in your wiring. For me, I'm using red for light and then black for neutral. All right, so there are a lot of things to cover as to why things are done the way they are. There is an opportunity to join our online classes where you can interact with me personally to explain a lot of things to you. And so if you wish to join, we have a training session for those who are preparing to write the energy commission exams in Ghana. And then um, there is also provision for workers who would want to know why certain things are done and how to do them properly. Um, you can also contact me on the WhatsApp number that is showing now and then um, you call me for an arrangement. Okay, so for now, red for light, black for neutral, for the lighting safety. For the purpose of proper understanding, first of all, I'm going to pass all the feed wires, the feed wires to all the switches. And then after that, I will pass the switch wires to all the lamps. All right. Alright, so here this is the feed wire for the lighting circuit. If you are someone who has been following me on YouTube, you would have come across my videos of how to select the correct size of breaker and the correct size of cables for electrical wiring. And so by now, you would understand that this 1.5 size of cable will be enough to supply all the lighting circuits. Alright, so basically, this cable alone is able to feed all the lighting circuit but then by choice i want to give the lighting system in this house two feet so i will separate the light at the porch from those in the bedroom and in the sitting area so that when one breaker is off at least you should have light in some part of the house that is just by choice but if you are looking at it from the perspective of the current carrying capacity of this cable Yes, this cable is enough to feed all the light in the wire. And then a six arm breaker should be enough to protect all the circuits. So it's just by choice that I want to use two feet for the lighting system in this house. And then by choice, I will also use a separate feed for the bell. That is just by choice. So in future, if I have additional lights or additional bells, I can decide to add them to any of the existing circuits.
All right, so there will be another feed for the light, and then I'll draw another feed for the bill. All right, so I'm done passing the feed wires to all the switches. Now the next activity is that I'm going to pass all the switch wires to the lamps and then the switch wire to the bell. Great, so here we are done with wiring our small house comprising of a porch, a sitting area, and then a one room. Good, so we have three lamps, we have three switches, each controlling each of the lamps, then we have three sockets in each area, and then we also have a bell. So now all the wiring is done for the power circuit, and the lighting circuit, and the bell. In an electrical wiring, there are several stages depending on the size of the installation and the type of installation you are doing. So we have the laying of the trunking or laying of the conduits, then we also have the wiring itself, then we move on to the wiring of the accessories. The accessories are the switches and the sockets and the breakers, the lamp holders, and then we have the inspection and testing stage 
All right, so the next stage we are going to look at is going to be the ethnic arrangement. That is a very important thing that must be part of the wiring system, and usually that goes with the wiring. So after the wiring, the next thing we are going to do is to look at the ethnic system for this wiring. After we are done with the ethnic system, then we come and do what we call inspection and testing. All right, so the next thing we are going to do is the connection of the accessories, the breakers, and then the final termination into the various accessories that we'll be using. Then after that, we are going to do inspection and testing. Inspection and testing will now confirm if all the work that we have done is perfect or is good according to the way we want it to be. So first, we'll do inspection, and then we'll do testing. All right. So at this stage, we are done with the wiring. In the next video, I'll be showing how to connect the various accessories. That is uh, the switches, the circuits, and the lamp holders. But before this video ends, I'll draw the earth wire. So for now, I will draw the earth wire, and then we close for today. This will be continued in the next video. So, um, I'm going to end this episode here today. The next video will cover the sockets, the switches, the lamp holders, and then the final connection in the consumer unit. Alright, so thank you very much for watching this video. After the connection of the accessories, we are going to carry out the various tests that must be done on an electrical wiring before commissioning. And then we'll also be wiring the supply arrangement so so this is not the only thing you do if you are wiring a house there must be a provision for an energy meter that will take the reading of whatever amount of power you are going to use so that you can appropriately pay for what you use and so this same series will feature the energy meter and then the supply arrangement that will be coming from the supply of if you stay to the end of this series, you are going to learn a lot. And by the end of this series, you should be able to wire your small room perfectly. Thank you very much again. See you in the next video.